I'm going to have a, a live streaming event tonight at um, 11 p.m. Eastern time. And what that's going to be is we will be celebrating Minnie Manson's birthday, which is today, July 29th. Other than that, I got a few interviews set up that I'm uh, lined up uh, that I'm pretty excited about. So I cannot wait to get those in the can, get them edited, and start running because I think you guys will like it a lot. Other than that, I'm just kicking it on a Saturday morning. You know, I went to sleep yesterday. I was I didn't do a Your Morning Turns to Darkness yesterday. I started to do one, and then I just got off because I felt very sick. And kind of like that feeling I was having earlier where I couldn't do anything for a few months, you know. But I went to sleep, and I woke up. I, I literally slept like 18 hours, which I haven't been getting enough sleep lately so it, i it, i probably needed that sleep and uh the problem is i woke up hellaciously early on a saturday morning and i have that late night event tonight so i'm gonna have to try to take a nap or something at some point and i'm just not a nap guy so i don't i don't know what's gonna happen hopefully everything will be good i'm on uh day eight of my fast uh now if you've been following my fast i I've quit eating food, basically, but I'm still drinking coffee, you know. I got a coffee from McDonald's. I usually go down in the morning, I get a coffee uh, from McDonald's because I, I get these caffeine headaches. And today, I was just going to go ahead and go through the caffeine headache, but I decided to go ahead and get the, get the caffeine anyway. And I don't really know the status of my of my fast right now. I I'm kind of thinking about suspending it, at least for today, and possibly eating something later, because I kind of want to drink tonight. I kind of like to would like I kind of would like to have a buzz. I didn't think about that before I started doing my fast, and I'm not really going to do many live events late at night if i do i uh, right now the only live i'm going to be doing is in the morning so i'm not going to be drinking in the morning time but tonight we're going to be getting crazy with it we're going to be doing a concert and all that i kind of want a buzz i i want to get a buzz on now i don't think many drinks or anything like that i think he's straight edge I mean, many will drink. I got many, many to drink one night, and he kind of got fucked up off of like two shots, you know. And I'm not even sure it's safe for him to drink. He's probably on medications and stuff that he probably should not be drinking on. So I don't know. But for me, I would like to drink. And how do I drink if I cannot eat? Because I can't... Man. Look, I was doing a... I was doing a fast one time, right? This was probably like 10 years ago. And that rapper Riff Rap was coming to town, and I had tickets. And I wanted to go see Riff Rap. And uh, I had been fasting for like 30 days. And when I went on the fast, I didn't really think about it. It was going to coincide, coincide with a live event I was attending. And I was like, fuck it, you know. I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm going to go to this Rip Rap concert completely sober. But when I got there, I, I realized there was absolutely no way in hell I was going to be able to uh, sit through this Rip Rap concert sober. Could you imagine that? I mean, first of all, could you even imagine going to a Rip Rap, Rip Rap concert? And then secondly, could you imagine having to to attend the show uh, completely sober. Well, that was my destiny at hand that night. And I decided that there's no way I can do this. So, and by the way, I decided this because I was, I'd actually went into go to the show, you know, like way ahead of time. And I was way up, because I wanted to get like way up in front, you know what I mean? 
because I didn't think I could deal with the riffraff fans in the back. So I didn't want to, when I looked ahead of me, I didn't want to see nobody, none of the fans in front of me at all. They would only be at my side or at my back. It had nothing to do with wanting to be, to actually see riffraff, but it had everything to do with not having to see the rest of the crowd. That's why I like to be up in the front. And immediately there were like 10 other people there already and they were all dressed like rip, riff raff, unironically. So when you looked at him, you would think, oh, this guy's dressed like riff raff for Halloween or something like that. Like a kind of like a goofy looking, you know, not exactly perfect version of riff raff that someone put together for a night for, you know, Halloween. No. No, no, this was these these people's normal look, okay? They had somehow, they were like riffraff stands. They were like, hey, man, you know, they were like talking like riffraff, trying to talk to me and shit, and I was like, fuck this, man. Because that's the thing, I go to a lot of events like this, like the riffraff type thing where I go, and a lot of people are like really into it. They're almost like cosplaying whatever music group they're, you know, and they always see me walk in, and I just look like I look, like I always look, you know. And they seem to, like, gravitate towards me. They're trying to figure out if I'm, like, a fed or something. They don't, like, there's something off about me, just the way I'm looking at them. Like, there's something off about them, but, you know. So they all, like, kind of gravitate around me, and they're asking me questions, trying to figure out if I'm, a, if I'm really a Riff Raff fan and shit. And, of course, I'm answering everything and I have most likely have followed the guy before they ever fucking even knew who the fuck he was <clears throat> and, I, and I can't take it anymore so I just kind of like go to this bar across the street with the people I'm with I noticed they have my favorite beer on tap art car and that's a St. Arnold's beer and it basically is a beer that has like um, grapefruit juice infused in it so i really enjoy the art car beer uh and it really packs a powerful uh buzz i forget the alcohol content but it's a little higher than normal i can highly if you're into these craft beers or whatever i would highly recommend that one anyway i go across and i see they got these art car beers so i decide they got them on like special you know like i can get like two like tall like pints for, for like five bucks or something, you know. And they're normally like five bucks each or something. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna, give me two of those. So I start drinking this beer and the concert's going to start soon, you know. So I kind of got to drink, you know. So I'm like, I'm drinking this shit down pretty quickly. I pay. We go across the back across the street. We're waiting for the concert to start and now the the normal people that are going to the Riff Raff concert have arrived and they're scumbags you know I mean they're scumbags in a different way and then you've got like the the stands they're all around right and I start to feel this gurgling in my stomach and I feel like I'm going to explode. I literally feel like I'm going to explode. And it just keeps getting worse and worse. And I see these like riffraff stands like all around me, you know, making weird noises, you know, acting fucking stupid. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And I got a buzz from this art car. T this art car is starting to hit me too because I sucked them down pretty quickly. They got a lot of alcohol in them. And uh, I start to hiccup, right? So I hiccup. And a big fucking bubble comes out of my mouth and is floating through the air. Right? This big fucking bubble, like out, right out of the cartoons. You ever see these old cartoons where somebody will like drink booze or something and they'll be walking through the streets hiccuping and like these, these bubbles come out of their mouth? That happened to me, bro. Straight up. And it's... I didn't even think that was real, but it was real. So this 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 grotesque uh, bubble that came up out of my gut is now floating through the air, you know? 
I see some riffraff stand like, oh man, and he like fucking pops it with his finger. You know, he doesn't even know where he, he came from. He thinks someone's in the crowd blowing bubbles, right? So then I hick up again and like five little bubbles come out, you know, and they're all floating through the fucking area. And people are going, oh my God. And people are starting to notice there's bubbles coming out of me and they're fucking like pointing at me. And I get this fucking bubble that's coming out of my mouth and it's still attached and it's like getting bigger and bigger, right? And I just kind of swat at it and explode it. And I, I'm trying to hold it down and I just feel like I'm going to explode in this, all of a sudden this foam, like, like almost like what you would get when you're washing your clothes, you know, it starts coming up out of my mouth, right? And I can't, I can't hold it. And it's not puke. I'm not actually puking. It's just like the whole inside of my body is being filled with foam and it's just rising and it's just coming out of the hole that's there, you know? So I, there's a big trash can and I go running over to the trash can and I'm like, just trying, you know, I'm kind of like coughing and trying to get this foam out of my fucking throat and it just will never fucking stop and there was somebody there like came over and they had they had like professional photography shit like they were and they had some kind of sign like they were some kind of social media thing that went around taking pictures of events that they would put online or whatever and the guys there are just like snapping pictures of me with this foam coming out of my mouth and I'm going and I got my hand over my face like Sean Penn you know, and I got my hand up like this trying to block the... Because I didn't want to see people see photos of me online with a bunch of foam coming out of my ass, basically. Which, it wasn't coming out of my ass. But it felt like that was going to start happening, possibly. But luckily, there was enough leeway to where this foam could come up out of my... It could rise out of my mouth, you know. And there were bubbles going everywhere, you know. It was really gross. But anyway, that's my riffraff bubble story. I'm going to get off of here, you guys. We've got the, the Minnie Manson birthday extravaganza coming up tonight. Check it out. Um, your chance to talk to Minnie Manson live as well. But until then, you guys take it easy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.